What's up guys, back with another video. So I received this comment on one of my more recent uploads and you can see here, the lady puts, glad to be a MGM. And for those of you who don't know, MGM is a term that people use in the abbreviation. The M stands for multi, the G stands for generational, and the M stands for mixed. So it's a very broad term. There's a lot of ambiguity with that term. And so, um, but you know what? There is a gentleman who did who just uh, recently published a book going into depth and detail about the term MGM. So I would encourage people to kind of research or look into that. And if you have any questions about that, you can always post a comment, and then I can give you the uh, I can give you the title of the book to purchase it from the gentleman because the gentleman is a proud mixed man. I believe his origins is from Aruba. But he literally wrote a book about MGM, but I know it's it's kind of a new development. A lot of people are not really sure what it means, neither here or there. Let's continue on with the comment. She put, glad to be an MGM and embrace all ingredients, which is good. That's healthy, right? Embracing your heritage uh, on all sides. And then this final part she puts is what I have an issue with. She puts here, but society will see you as a black woman. Now, what society is that black society? Does black society see you as a black woman? Looking at her image, like the profile picture or avatar, she looks light and bright, right? So I'm just curious to see what society, Asian society in Europe, like is she well-traveled or she travels the country or South America? I'm pretty sure if she goes to a lot of these nations, nations, excuse me, a lot of these countries in South America, they're going to just walk up to her and start speaking Spanish or Portuguese or something. They're not going to look at her and think, oh, you're African, you're black. So when she puts here black woman, well, black women have dark skin or dark brown skin. What I'm seeing here, what I've noticed when I've been involved in the multiracial spaces for the past two years is that a lot of people who use that term MGM, they are ultra black identified. They literally, their culture is African-American culture. They grew up being black. They grew up being black identified. It's just over the past couple years with the online spaces, they found a way to kind of just say, well, I'm mixed. I'm MGM, multi-generational mix, et cetera. Or light skin is another term they use. I don't really promote those terms over here on my channel. There's a high level of specificity. That's why I say mulatto, because you know exactly what I'm talking about. European and African when I say mulatto. Because you could say biracial, that's fine. I use that term a lot interchangeably, but there's a lot of different configurations of biracials. You have Hapa people or Hafa, right? Which is we half Asian, half European. You have Blacksicans, right? I'm from the West Coast, so there's a lot of Blacksicans that are basically African American and uh, Mexican. And then you have uh, Blasian, right? Black and Asian. There's a ton of different uh, configurations. So when you say biracial, it's not quite specific, but mulatto, it's boom, right there, you know, there's a history, you know. And so when I look at MGM, I see a lot of that kind of uh, ambiguity there, where they have to go into further detail. But not only that, the fact is, is like I said, is that a lot of the individuals, they are just ultra black identified. It's like, why don't you just call yourself a black woman then? Why do you, you know, throw this term MGM? She says she embraces all ingredients but society will see you as a black woman. Why don't you just say you're a black woman? Just drop the MGM crap, you know, because people look at me, they know I'm mixed. I have the phenotype of a biracial man, of a mulatto man, a mixed individual. There's a lot of men in this country, the United States of America, who look just like me, even in my hometown of Anaheim, California. I've came across two individuals who look just like me. They're bald, same skin complexion, same facial features. They were literally like my twin. One of them was a fire captain. And the other guy, I just saw him at like one of the local gyms. And these guys look just like me. So, and I'm pretty sure if I go to like Puerto Rico or DR or Brazil, there's a lot of other people out here that have my phenotype that look just like me. They share my image essentially. Okay. So, but of course, when I look at this woman, I can tell just by the picture, she's a little older, a lot older than me. So there is a level of confusion there, or I can say nuances where it's just still black identified or the world's going to see me as black. You know, maybe if you leave your neighborhood, maybe a society around you will not perceive you like that. I'm just saying, but 
What do you guys think? Let me know. But then, of course, I responded. I replied. I put here, society will see her as a biracial woman because that's what she is. So the context here, this was a video or a, a short, I believe, where I uploaded about a biracial woman who was affirming that she's proud to be biracial, which is a beautiful thing. I'm always going to share and promote men and women, boys and girls who are proud to be biracial, proud to share their dual heritage. The issue that I see is when we start having these discussions that need to be had, people who are proud and honoring and representing people who are proud to be mixed and proud to be biracial, you have people who say, well, I'm mixed too, I'm MGM or I'm light skin, but let's be real, everyone's just going to see us as black. See, that's like a humbling tactic. What this lady put, this MGM lady, where she's like, but society will see you as a black woman. It's like a humbling tactic. They're like, look, I know you're mixed, but just shut your ass up and just, you know, deal with the fact that you're still just black like the rest of us. Get in the crab bucket. I mean, that's basically what I'm seeing with this comment. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Talk to you next time. Adios.